What's up, insiders? Today, I got a new top airflow tank for you. We're talking about the Ace Vape Tech MKRTA. The big question is, how does this one compare to some of the best top airflow tanks on the market right now? Make sure you watch the whole review find out exactly what I think. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Here is the tank with the bubble glass on it. Excuse the condensation, I just washed it out. See, this is the regular drip tip, see? And it's got that little ledge there, but if you use the black one, it covers that ledge up. I don't know, some people might like that look better. I like the blue one better. Let's go over the tank from top to bottom. I'm using the spare drip tip. I like it better. Goon style drip tip. O-ring on the inside over there in the catch cup. Top airflow tank, right? Right there. Nice, smooth AFC adjustment. Not a top airflow fan, but this one they did a nice job with. I have to give them credit for it. I really do. In order to fill it, you unscrew the top fill port cap. And you'll see you got some nice, beefy fill ports. Nice wide chimney, and it's also recessed. Nice job on that. The top cap is actually well machined. Fits on there perfectly. Top airflow ring can come off for cleaning. All right, so that's a plus. Here is the bubble glass installed. On the bottom, you'll see it says MKRTA Ace Vape Tech. Serial number, gold-plated 510, insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. Now watch this. This is interesting. When you go to take it off, right? See that? See how the outer ring only spins? Right? Kind of interesting the way they did that, right? Let me. I'll show you why in a second. All right? So you do that to get your deck out, right? And now you're going to notice, see this notch here? Well, this notch has to catch in order for you to have your coil in front of the airflow properly. So they did a nice job on that. They really did kind of clever I have to give them credit for that a very very clever way to do the build deck now this is a postless deck with four different terminals I'm running one big fat single coil in it because to run dual coils in it it's very cramped you're only gonna really be able to fit in small wire builds like simple Clapton's and simple round wire I I like the way this thing vapes better with just one big staggered fused Clapton now, they say in the instruction manual to use a three and a half. This is a three, and I've had no problem with this with, with getting this thing to wick correctly. So you simply slide your coil in there. Couldn't be easy to build. There are your hex keys right there. You tighten it down. You center it, and then you wick it, and you put your wicks in this wicking slot right here. I'm going to wick it up for you right now. Grab yourself a nice thick piece. Don't forget, you're using a big coil, right? Give it a little roll between your fingers, make it nice and pointy, and send it right through, just like that. Nice and tight, nice tight wick, right? Now you wanna take your scissors, and what you wanna do is, you don't wanna go crazy with the wick on this, right? You wanna cut it right where the threading starts, right there, okay? Just like that. Same thing on the other side, right where that threading starts, just slide your scissor along it, and give it a snip just like that now you take your cotton tool and you just give it a nice little tuck it's almost like a GTA style deck with a ring around it same thing on the other side keep it nice and fluffy get those ends in first right and don't disturb that cotton just get it in there spread it out so it covers that whole wick port and that's exactly how you want to wick it just like that juice we're going to be using today is vape wilds rainbow crunch once you got your wicks all situated you want to get that coil nice and started just paint that coil up nice get those wicks nice and wet same thing on the other side don't go crazy but get them started all right don't flatten them down too much because you don't want to affect the wicking that's all, just paint it just like that. What you want to do now is you want to take your base section, you want to kind of push it down and like just gently slide it in there. See how it caught like that, right? And now just want to give it a few reverse threads maybe and give it a twist. And you see, see how that outer ring is spinning? 
but the inner ring isn't. Kind of clever. Get it nice and tight. It's a little crunchy. The machining could be a little better. It really could. And now once you're all put together like that, you got your fill port open. Load it up. Let's get this thing juiced up. And there we go. We're all juiced up. We take our top cap, put it on nice and tight. And there we go, man. We're all juiced up, wicked up. No chance of leaking because we got top airflow. Put our drip tip back in. And now we're ready to vape. You get this spare drip tip. You get all these spare O-rings and a 510 drip tip adapter. You get a straight glass. I believe it came pre-installed with the straight glass. You also get an Allen key. All right, everyone. We're back on top. Let's get into the cons and the pros. The first con is going to be it's a small cramped deck that's not going to do well with dual coils or with big dual coils. All right. Some drip tips are going to have overhang because of that little piece that they put on top there. Some drip tips will look good, but some won't. So just be aware of that. All right. Machining on it, the threading, not the greatest in the world. It's not terrible, but it could be better. So I'm going to give them a con on that. And the other con I'm going to give it is the distribution. I don't know where you find this thing. It's got very limited distribution. You're probably going to be able to find it on some of the Chinese sites. So make sure you, you use your Google Foo and look for it, all right? Let's get into the pros. First pro is going to be, I love the looks of it. I think the looks of it are badass. I like the way it looks, especially with the bubble glass, man. It just looks short, stout, and powerful. I like that, all right? Two drip tips included, two nice drip tips. We'll give them a pro for that. Capacity with the bubble glass, 5 mLs for a single coil. If you're going to run it in single coil mode, that's a nice capacity. We're going to give them a pro on that. Good flavor for a top airflow tank, pro. It's got really nice clouds, even in single coil mode. You saw the cloud I chucked. Kind of cool, man. We're going to give them a pro for that. Semi-restrictive airflow that I really like. And if you're into that semi-restrictive airflow, you're going to like this one, especially if you're looking for a tank that's not going to leak on you because this is top airflow. It's impossible to leak. So we're going to give them a pro on that, all right? The last pro I'm going to give it is because it's a top airflow tank and you really don't have to have a great wicking game, this one's going to be good for newbies because of that, all right? A new builder will probably find this real easy to build and wick on, so I'll give them a pro on that. All right, insiders, let's get back to our original question. Is this one of the best top airflow tanks on the market right now? You know what, man? Like I said during the pros and cons, this thing is great for a new builder. A new builder with no wicking game is going to have an awesome time with this thing. The flavor is very good. You know, it's not approaching bottom airflow, but it's one of the better top airflow tanks as far as flavor goes. The problem with this one is the distribution. Ace Vape Tech doesn't have a ton of distribution. You're probably going to have to get it from China and use your Google Foo to find it. The Ace Vape Tech MK RTA is 25 millimeters in diameter. It is 40.4 millimeters high. You will get 3 mLs with the straight glass, 5 mLs with the bubble. It is a top airflow tank, so there's no chance of leaking. Thanks for watching the video, Insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, Insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.